Hey guys, Bomb Ranger here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Tails and Knuckles. In this episode, we're going through the ice cap. Uh, screw you guys, I still think Hydrocity Zone's music is better. But, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, shut up, I want to listen to the music. But, I think I'm just going to run my mouth the whole time can't hear the music. At least I'm going to try to, even if I'm talking about nonsense stuff. Because I like to ruin people's love of this music, because it's clearly inferior to Hydrocity Zone's music. Anyways, right here on the slide, you gotta jump on that thing or else you'll be in an endless loop. And there's lots of uh, pillars and stuff that try to smash you. And there's a lightning shield over here, which will make life so much easier because of all the Orbanauts. Exactly. Just watch out for the penguins. They're like everywhere. And they totally destroy your speed. And back there was an area only Knuckles can get to. I think he actually doesn't have to go there, but I could be wrong on that. Like I said, penguins trying to ruin my speed. Darn you penguins. Alternating pillars that will smash you. Icicles falling from the ceiling that you can use as platforms. And they just totally try to kill your speed at every turn on this stage. I don't know why people like it so much. Well, it's got a lot of platforming. Even though Sonic wasn't meant to be the uber platformer game. Mario's deal. Uh, is this going to be the other bonus stage? Dang it! I keep getting this one. I'm supposed to get the other one. Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe you get the uh, slot machine at 75 and get the other shield machine at like 25. I don't know. One day I'll get to it. My luck at having so many rings can't hold out forever. Anyway, you need to push that block, because it's the only way to break through that area there. And you're going to continue running through here. And again, Penguin trying to kill my speed. Darn you, Penguin. I don't even know what their actual bad nickname is. But it's something like Chili or something. Something totally puntastic. The biggest worry whenever you go through a small corridor is those pillars. Alright, here we are at the mini boss. This guy is like ridiculously easy, especially his tails. So you can just fly up to him. Just kind of go back and forth, and then shoot off these things into the sky, and then they'll rain down. And then he'll let you get like two hits on him. And then he'll move up, where if you're any other character, you won't be able to hit him anymore. But Tails can just be like, eh, fly up and hit him with his tails. So there we go. Act 1 is done. And I think if nothing else, I am going to take a break after... I get through the Sonic 3 levels. I'm surprised I haven't taken a break yet. My throat is really hurting now. And I hope I'm the only one that can't really tell a difference in the music between Act 1 and Act 2 in this stage. I know it's different just because every Act 1 and Act 2 music is slightly different in this game, but I can't really tell in this one. And these springs here use the same theory behind the uh, cylinder in Carnival Night Zone. If you get stuck in a snow mound like I did, just spin dash and you'll get out of it. I think there's actually some robotic, yeah. I said robotic. Eggman monitors. 
through all of you purists who are like, oh, it's Dr. Robotnik. I refuse to call him Eggman. Eggman's his name. Get over it. It's always been Eggman in Japan. And it wasn't until Sonic Adventure 2 that they ever knew him as Dr. Robotnik. And I think that was actually Sega's attempt at uh, unifying his name through the nations. I like Eggman better because it makes things like the Death Egg make more sense. Crap ton of rings and a big ring up here and you can also skip this tunnel over here if you go up top there. And here we go, boss time. This guy's actually kind of hard, but he has a pattern. Like I think after three times of shooting left or right and then shooting down, he'll do it twice in the same direction for both of them. And then that's the best time to attack. Yeah, like that. Of course, it's also good to try to attack him as soon as he does the one going down. Aw, oh, that was bogus. That shouldn't have hit me. Why is that hitting me? I'm like not on the platform and it's still hitting me. I really hate this boss, for those who can't tell. Anyway, the best way to attack is just to wait until he does the one that goes down. Just be aware of when he does it twice so you don't jump into it. Eventually, he will go down. You know, I say that a lot when I'm, like, stalling for time. And now is no exception. <laughs> There's really not a whole lot more to say about it. Until you got like six hits on him, this pattern's just going to continue. And then he'll lose the platform and just constantly shoot downward. As long as you don't hit him from the back, there's nothing to worry about because you can safely hit him from the front every time. And that is the end of the ice cap zone. So, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later. And we're going to go over here and run through there.